What up? What to do? It's your boy JDQ, and as always on this channel, it's one video a day, nothing gets in the way. And as also as always on this channel, keep the hat and the shirt. All right. So I want to give you guys a quick update on the uh, the pad I mentioned yesterday. All right. Now, what I was uh, practicing drawing onto this pad, it was just for practice purposes. This is pretty much like a like a rough draft of what eventually could be uh, a drawing that I might use for a video later on when I get more used to the actual pad itself. Um, but we have, right? And as you can see, I left out the hands because number one, you know, I, I was looking at the, the reference and I was like, yeah, I'm not gonna go take it that far, especially for something that's just supposed to be for practice purposes. Um, but real quick, so if you take a look at the arms, all right, um, I actually used uh, the Prismacolor, I don't wanna call it Sharpie, but, um, alcohol-based color marker, all right? It's a skin tone. And um, I actually do enjoy it. I mean, I thought it was gonna be like weird and like awkward to, you know, get used to it. But surprisingly, it's uh, it's as good as you see it, you know, when you see it being used on other YouTube videos or whatever. Um, I follow a few people on YouTube concerning art and stuff. And every time I see someone use one of these, I'm like, oh man, like it looks like it's a lot of work or it feels like it looks like uncomfortable or whatever. But, um, you know, for the most part, like for what I used it for, it felt really comfortable, really smooth, um, really uh, soft on the paper. Uh, the brush itself feels like um, sturdy. This is the word I'm looking for, I guess. Um, and yeah, it, it really did surprise me. I was like kind of awed, you know, by uh, how it did on this paper. And uh, yeah, you know, you can kind of see the blending and the, the different tones I, I you know, I kind of use on the arms and whatever. Looks nice. And um, I think I kind of messed up, messed it up a little bit because I, I kind of did use... Um, this marker on it like about a minute or two ago on the outer lines of it But then I tried to like cover it up with a you know this marker again Hopefully it didn't look as bad as I think it does um, As for the other colors um, Like for the blue on the suit I used um, Let's see if I find, oh, here it is. I use this one over here. It's the same brand as the one I just mentioned a second ago um, it's a water-based marker, all right? Um, I'm trying to see if I, okay, there it is. There's a box. I think I showed you guys this box like a while back ago, like months ago. Um, yeah, not bad. I actually do like the way it, you know, blends and changes tones and the, the colors of the tones when they get darker or whatever look really nice. I mean, if y'all notice right here, you know, you can see the blending darker to, to lighter, all that good stuff. And then last but not least, on the mask, um, well, actually, before I get to the, the black part, uh, the mask, I actually used the, the fine liner markers that I mentioned yesterday, right? Now, remember, this is a rough draft and this is why I didn't make an actual video of me drawing this and coloring it in. So technically, it's not the first official video of me using this pad and these markers. All right? Keep that in mind. Um, that being said, this marker, all right, um, I use it for the mask. And as you can see, it's like very spotty. And I didn't like it that much. Um, I don't know if I used it wrong or what. Um, I mean, obviously, I used the, the brush side because it has two tips. It has the medium-sized tip, which is kind of like a like a short um, brush-type tip, 
to it or whatever. And then you have the actual fine point side, which I did not touch at all. Um, but yeah, I didn't really like it that much because it, it looks like it's bleeding in some areas and it's not as smooth as the water base color. Um, yeah, which also reminds me that for the black part, I also used the same brand of um, marker, but well, here it is. I just showed the, the, the actual one. Um, I used this and I only put like one layer for like the suit and y'all can see it looks pretty nice as is. I could have done a second hand, but I'm like, it doesn't really need one, you know? And for these parts, like this, that, that, all I really did was um, use a colored pencil to kind of like color those areas in. And I do believe I also used a marker. I think it was the same one that I used for the, the suit part. Um, but it wasn't working, so I, I kind of like forced the colored pencil onto the areas or whatever. Now you can kind of tell if I tilt the camera, you know. It's not what I wanted or intended, but it's close to it, so you know. I'll, I'll figure it out on another video, I guess. Um, but yeah, so that's, I mean, for me personally, it does look like it pops a lot. Um, obviously, it doesn't look the same on this camera as it does in person. In person, it looks a lot brighter and vivid. Um, but, yeah, uh, my feedback as far as the paper goes, really, really nice, um, smooth. Um, the markers that I use on it aren't rough on the paper. And... You know, coloring on this paper isn't rough on the actual bristles or like the, the the marker point or whatever. And uh, yeah, that's what I have to say for now. All right, this is a practice run. So hopefully, if I do um, decide to redo this drawing, like legit, like you know, final product, if you will, um, it, you know looks a lot better than this and uh hopefully i'm able to make it pop a little bit more than what i did with this one anyways guys um yeah just want to kind of give you keep keep you up to date <laughs> with all this stuff uh thank you for the views thank you for the thumbs up i appreciate the support thank you for subscribing to the channel i appreciate that as well and uh yeah love you all and see you all tomorrow peace out